What is going on, guys? Welcome to this episode of The Pickups, and I am very excited... Sorry about that. I'm, I don't know where that came from. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, we got an awesome video lined up for you today. We're going to try to keep it short. We got a uh, offer up deal, a uh, subscriber gift thing. We got a box from Trevor from Top Loaded Gaming, which is awesome. I, hold on, give me one second. I think I left like a Nintendo or my emulator on or something. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right. Uh, sorry, I I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, anyway, what else we got? Oh, uh, a garage sale thing. But anyway, let's just get this shin dig started, shall we? Okay, so Tyler and I went out to Newark. Uh, we hit up Maxine's Bargain Box and uh, some of the other stores and pawn shops around there. But while we were out there, met up with a subscriber of the channel, Chris. What's going on, dude? Uh, he bought a couple games from us, which is nice. And uh, he also hooked us up with some of these universal game cases with Pokemon Stadium and... I always say Ghosts and Goblins. With Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now I'm going to assume he printed these off of uh, the coverproject.net, which is where I print off my covers. Very cool. Uh, to have both of these games, we'll be putting those in these cases for extra protection. Uh, you know I got that Super Nintendo shelf right over there, so we will get this on there, the game in there, and then on there immediately. I didn't actually buy anything uh, out in Newark at the stores, you know, but we stopped at this flea market and I picked this up. It was 15 bucks. It's a game that I never see. And um, yeah, that'd be cool to add it to the Super Nintendo collection. Maybe give it a try. Uh, put it in the backlog <laughs> for sure. Wanderers from Yeez 3. Pretty cool title. Like I said, I'd never see this game, but uh, we got that for 15 bucks, which is actually not bad. It's on the... Uh, See that? It's on the lower end of the uh, the eBay scale. It's about you know 12, 15 bucks all the way up to about 19 to 25 bucks. So good deal on that. Can't wait to add that to the collection, which we just did. Stopped at a yard sale. Only got one thing. I know I got it because it was the trilogy and it was sealed. It is Darkman on uh, DVD. So yeah, it looks like it sells for eh, 12 to 13, 14 bucks. So. For a dollar, there's a little bit of profit to be made there. I saw this on offer up. What is that? Hold on, my, my son's room is like right below this room. Let me go make sure he's not playing. It sounds Konami, whatever it is, it sounds Konami and he's playing it very loud. I'll be right back. All right, that wasn't him. I mean, he's still asleep at the ass crack at 2.30 in the afternoon, but uh, you know, he's gotta get his duty sleep. So <laughs> saw this on offer up. All it said was Nintendo games, $10. So I messaged the guy and said, hey, do you want $10 a game or do you want $10 uh, for the whole lot? He said, $10 for the whole lot. I met up with him, like I said, his name was James. Very nice guy, very good contact. He said he's got boxes of this stuff uh, sitting in storage. So hopefully he can go and get those. They're like, like an hour away. So hopefully he can go get them and bring them back and maybe we can do some more business later. But uh, yeah, 10 bucks for the entire stack. I needed some of these for the collection, so I was actually pretty excited. Double dribble. We got the uh, special label edition of Super Mario Brothers 3. There's only uh, two of these known in existence. The Queen of England has the other one. No, I'm just kidding. It's a ripped copy of Super Mario Brothers 3. Jaws, which is th is this the best LJN Nintendo game? I don't know. So start a discussion down below. Jaws is the best LJN Nintendo game. Batman, gotta have a copy of Batman. Pretty common game right there. Good game too. Uh, this is a game that doesn't get a lot of love. This is Breakthrough. This is Data East. It's like Spy Hunter in that it's a vehicle combat racing type game. Does not get a lot of love. Actually pretty good. I'm gonna splicey splicey some gameplay footage right here. Oh, my God. 
So yeah, Breakthrough, uh, you know, it's a cheap game too. So if you're into that kind of stuff, man, definitely pick that one up. Gold Cartridge, Legend of Zelda. It's actually in really nice condition. Might be a label upgrade for me. Over time, you guys know that the paint wears off and you get those like black streaks on there. So uh, we only have like minor wear on this cartridge. So really good condition. Uh, these three games I definitely needed for the collection. Superman, again, not a great game from what I understand, but you know, it's Superman. Cool to add to the collection. We got Tiny Toon Adventures 2. Trouble in Wacky Land! You know, I think this uh, completes my Tiny Toon subset. I've got the first one in the uh, Cartoon Workshop, so this is the last one I needed to complete the old uh, Tiny Toon collection. I love that uh, show when I was a kid. And the first game is not that bad. I actually like the first game. It's an action platformer. This game, very, very happy to get this into the collection. I only needed five NES games to complete my childhood collection. Uh, Casino Kid 2, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, Micro Machines, Mystery Quest, and this game right here, whoo, Donkey Kang 3. Okay, so the last thing we got for you, boom, we got a box from Top Loaded Gaming. Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. Now, if you have not watched Trevor's channel, make sure that you check it out. He recently went over 400 subscribers, so congratulations on the 400 subs, buddy. I will leave a link to his channel down below, and I'm telling you guys, he is one of the most generous people on YouTube. If you like my channel, like I said, you will like his channel. He does uh, uh, unboxings, reviews, pickup videos, uh, live streams. He does uh, critique videos, criticism videos, kind of what's going on in the YouTube world uh, type videos, you know, up, uh, I don't know what you call it, like news update kind of things. And uh, it's very, very good. He's very, very awesome. And uh, I was watching one of his videos. I, I've subscribed to his channel for a while. And uh, I was watching one of his newer pickup videos and he had mentioned that he was trying to get a complete NES collection. So I was like, hey man, I PM'd him on Facebook. I was like, I got this stack of Nintendo games. I've kind of had them for a while. Do you need any of them? I'll just send them to you. So I sent them to him. He picked out a couple games. No crazy titles, man. Just a couple common games. And uh, he was like, hey, I'm going to send you something back. I was like, man, you don't need to do that. It's okay. But he sent us this package right here, which I'm very excited to get. But we need to open it up. That's not a knife. That's a knife. All right. So again, got this bad boy open. Trevor, thank you so much. You totally did not, uh, did not have to do this this up very nice packing job by the way you must be a professional uh, all right so box on the floor what do we got here oh we're gonna keep that about wow okay trevor thank you uh, so much this is crazy uh it is a wow fits right in the styrofoam there a copy of skull girls to Encore Edition for the uh, for the PlayStation 4, and that is still sealed. Let me get my fingers out of the way. That is Limited Run game at number 97, which is super cool. I love Limited Run stuff. Uh, I've never actually bought anything off of the Limited Run website because I can't get it. I always have to buy it or trade for it secondhand, which is cool and awesome comes with the soundtrack that is still sealed very cool it says not for resale on it which is hilarious but uh, wow Trevor that was uh, that was very generous of you buddy and, and I definitely appreciate it thank you so much uh, like I said guys check out Trevor's channel he just passed 400 subscribers he's like at 410 subscribers let's see if we can get him to that 500 subscriber mark or at least get him super close i would really really appreciate it uh guys that is gonna do it thank you so much for tuning in and as always we will see you you know what trevor why don't you take us out brother well until next time this is trevor at top loaded fucking games